Are you practicing your multiplication facts? Everyone on the job knows that worker who never misses a day of work and is a model employee. If cloning were a thing, New Haven Principal Mary Goble would have already cloned special education paraeducator Judy Stoffer. It's hard to work with hard adults. It's hard to work with hard kids. And, you know, sometimes they get your attention in the most awful ways. We know that. We're in education. But 100% when Judy walks in the next day, it is a clean slate. She doesn't hold grudges. She doesn't say, well, remember yesterday, weren't you know, she doesn't do any of that. It's like, okay, babe, let's get started. What are we doing today? She works with uh, small groups of any student who has um, extra accommodations. So she may scribe for children. She may um, be a reader for children during assignments, centers, tests, things like that. Um, she helps students, you know, with their organization, um, any kind of checklists that students may have that they follow. She helps remind them of that. Um, keep students on task, but really focusing on <laughs> students' needs and making sure that she is there as a support. Oh, I like that. Our work in education is often judged by student performance. Judging by what Miss Judy's students have to say, she's doing excellent work. She's nice, caring, great. She helps people and she helps us with a lot of things like reading and math and our test, which we do better because she reads it to us. She helps me um, work my math out. She helps me stay on track and keep focus. She's kind, she's careful, and she helps others. Among the many things that Judy does, she also broke the mold by taking on extra duties and being creative on the job. I have a really unique thing that I do with Judy. We developed a social skills group, um, which has evolved to now called the Worthy Ninjas. There's like respectful ninja, hardworking ninja, organized ninja, like ton. There's probably 50 ninjas. And we wanted our kids to know how special they were, and Judy was very specific on what they wanted to work on and how she wanted to help them. And not only did she want to help them, she wanted to help them grow emotionally and in their confidence. So she came up with the Worthy Ninjas. She doesn't just show up at her time and leave at the end of the day. Judy is here. I mean, she volunteers for kids' events. She comes back for PTO events. She is a true stakeholder in the New Haven community. I had to ask, what is it that motivates you, Mrs. Stauffer? First, you just have to find your passion, and I think that makes a big difference, whether you like your job or you don't like your job. And this has just been my passion since I've been here, and just to see the look on their faces when they accomplish something that they thought that they couldn't do, but then realize they actually can, makes a world of difference. Mrs. Stauffer is entering her 18th year as a paraeducator. She works over the summer in the extended school year programs. Her reputation precedes her. Other schools have tried unsuccessfully to lure her away. This is a happy place to be. I love being here. It's happy being here. I have phenomenal co-workers, amazing teachers. Our principal's phenomenal. It's just a happy place to come and work. I look forward to getting up every day and coming into work. She's up at 5 a.m. every day at working out and then she comes here and then she does all of her extra duties as well um, and, and has a smile on her face the entire time. Judy is one of those people that she never changes. I've been at New Haven for 10 years and Judy, I mean, other than skipping into work, I've never seen Judy have a bad day. Her job makes teachers' jobs doable. Congratulations, Miss Judy, for breaking the mold. Congratulations, Ms. G, for breaking the mold. Congratulations for winning the award. Love, I love you. Congratulations, Ms. Judy. I'm so blessed to know you and to love you, and I'm so, so proud of you for receiving this Break the Mold Award. I can't think of anybody more deserving. I love you. Congratulations, my sweet friend. Nobody else deserves this more than you. Oh, Miss Sweet Judy, um, we definitely love you. I love you. I love everything that you bring to New Haven. Um, no one deserves this award more than you do, so congratulations.